In our previous segment, we talked about what unidirectional change was. So that means that it is change that is going to be occurring only once. Now we want to talk about cyclic change, things that are going to happen over and over again. So one example of this is the supercontinent cycle. So you should be familiar with Pangaea, which was the last time that all the continents were together as a supercontinent. Uh, you should also be familiar with Rodinia, which was the supercontinent that existed before Pangaea. This picture shows uh, some of the other supercontinents that have existed in the geological past. So it's quite normal for continents to move around because of plate tectonics and then bump into each other, make a supercontinent, and then later they break apart. Okay, another example of cyclic change would be sea level rise. So periodically uh, the ocean water will slosh up onto the continental shelves and will flood a continent. So for example, this is a picture of what North America looked like during the Cenozoic era. Uh, so what is it that's going to cause this? So we think it has to do with the, the spreading uh, uh, zones that occur at mid-ocean ridges. So if you have a mid-ocean ridge that is very, very quickly spreading apart, then that means that it's going to be hotter than a mid-ocean ridge that is very slowly splitting apart. So the faster that the mid-ocean ridge splits apart, the hotter it's going to be. The hotter it's going to be, the more expanded the rocks are going to be. The more expanded they are, the more they're going to be pushing up on the ocean water on top of them. And then that ocean water has to go somewhere, so it sloshes onto the continental shelves and floods them. So we know that um, these plates are moving around because of mid-ocean ridges. And as they break apart and then they come together again, those mid-ocean ridges are going to be operating at different speeds, so at different times in geological history, the continents are going to be flooded. All right, let's take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about what a biogeochemical cycle is. <music> 